I wanted to take you on a trip. This is the Sonic Farm Creamliner, and I wanted to show you what it sounds like on the master bus of a PA. And this is where the problems start. Thanks for coming along. If you're an artist or a producer on the come up and you're putting stuff out, I've got nothing but respect for you. I'd love to help you level up with the recording. If that sounds kind of cool, it would be awesome if you would hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell so we can keep the conversation going. Let's do a real quick rundown of the face of it so you can get the lay of the land. Line input select one or two. So you can run two mixing boards in here if you want. Input attenuation, that knocks the signal down by 6 dB while automatically changing the output level so you can hear what it sounds like if you want to run the tubes just a little cooler. Triode or pentode mode, so out is triode, in is pentode. That also automatically compensates level so you can hear what two modes sound like with the same output level. Output transformer and solid state, so output transformer, sort of like an Eve, and solid state, sort of like an SSL. It's not an emulation, but it kind of vibes that way. And then of course there's a true bypass. Fat is a small boost at either 400 or 700, one and two. Air is a small boost at either 12K or 18K. There is a newer unit that just came out, the Creamliner 3, where you can actually adjust the output level of these two things. This is adjustable inside the unit. My particular unit is fixed, I believe, to a dB and a half. They're all shelves. This is the output. 12 o'clock is Unity. I like to use it this way so that I can hear with no signal level change what's going on. And I wanted to show you what this sounds like on a PA. So, so I'm starting my day in Vancouver and a quick stop in Calgary. And now, we're in Winnipeg. Why? We're at the Burton Cummings Theater to do a show with Rob Nash, but we're also here to try out the cream liner that I just got from Boris. <laughs> video of me trying the cream liner in the studio when I was building the show. So we're here with Boris trying out the cream liner. And the band is in. Maybe. Sure. You can even hear it on the vocal. Bypass, right? Nice bass. Yeah. Take it out. Offers a lot. Okay. Steve wants a cream liner. <laughs> so clearly I have a friendly relationship with Boris and Sonic Farm, but this video isn't sponsored and even if it were, I feel like it's important to always tell you the truth, plus you can hear it and decide. And if you're not used to using gear like this, I just want to show you what gear like this does. I'm going to play a two track of a live recording from the band that I made at Soundcheck. And I thought about doing a whole thing where I changed all the settings so you could hear what everything did, but I find that the settings are so program dependent. Sometimes those settings don't make sense for the program material that you're listening to. Now I'm just gonna put it in and out so you can hear what it would do in this particular instance. And yes, I do have some EQ applied to it, the EQ that's in here. That's a part of what I would do with it because the way it interacts with the tubes and the output transformer or the solid state output, the change is subtle, but it's all these things that add up to sounding better. So what do I think? I think it's brilliant. I love that a company with two guys in it, two guys in Vancouver can make a product that's actually being used on front of house by like 20 huge acts in the world right now. And I love that people are still making analog gear. Look, plugins are amazing, but there's something magical about analog gear and tubes. Is it always the answer? Well, probably not, obviously not. But for those of us really trying to take it as far as we can, I like what it does. Have a listen. Stay 
So there's Little Taste. Is it worth it for me? Yeah, yeah it is. I love that I can provide that for my clients. And I'm trying to build a community of artists, producers, and creative engineers. If you want to come along for the journey, it'd be really cool if you'd hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.